us. Hey guys, it's me, Leo. Currently, okay. So let's get started with live from the house after Megan's tantrum. Stephanie can't cope with being evicted because of Jeremy because of her relationship with Jeremy. She's having worries about that. Stephanie talks to Scotty T about Megan's tantrum over the food, over the puppet food that she had to eat. Stephanie compares Megan Megan's tantrums to Nikki Graham's, and so did the UK press. And I don't think I don't I I think Megan held back a little bit on the tantrum because Nikki would just go there. She's like, "Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where'd you find her?" But Megan, she was just like, "Who gives a fuck about me? I'm like, I'm hungry." And Megan's still in the dining room at this time. So this is um, this is like while Megan was in the diary room and after Megan leaves the diary room. <laughs> this is when uh the this is just like after the highlights ended is where this live feed is coming from. Stephanie has some things that she's also upset about. One of them being blockbusters closing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. Stephanie and Scotty share earplugs while Nancy sits in the garden. And Nancy's still being bossy and shit like that. Stephanie and Jerry cuddle in the bedroom. And according to Gemma, um, she thinks the housemates lost the shopping pass because some of the puppets ate food. Some of the puppets ate puppet food. Um, master food and stuff like that. If the housemates as puppets eat, then it's a strike towards rations. Like, a strike for rations. Like, it will. they're gonna have rations, but... I saw some exclusive, and um, the puppets win the shopping, get luxury food, so. Scotty gives Megan earplugs before Megan goes to sleep. And that was it. Highlights. Housemates have to complete a puppet, puppet master task. Puppets must serve, respect, and obey puppet masters. David does not take part in the first part of the task because he... If he's still sick and they are putting him in a spare bedroom, you know that bedroom is going to be like the bed sit room. It's definitely going to be the bed sit room. They just haven't fully prepared it yet. Okay. So let's get to who's in control of who. John is in control of Tiffany. Angie's in control of Daniela. Nancy is in control of Scotty T. Gemma is in control of Christopher and Stephanie for right now, but Stephanie is going to be in, under control of Gemma. Jerry is in control of Megan. Christina is in control of Darren. And puppets are not to eat the puppet master's food. Puppet, puppets will get food from Big Brother during the, during the task. Nancy is having Scotty T massage her feet as her first command. John and Tiffany get to clear the air. Tiffany wants to make things better for her within the house. But John is trying to be manipulative. The puppet's lunch was cold lentil soup and crackers. And Megan was not having that. Megan's tantrum. We were waiting for Megan's tantrums. We were waiting for Megan's tantrums. John is giving Darren advice, apparently, about public perception. Puppet masters get to have their puppets to take part of grilling tasks. Um, most of the puppets think Tiffany is boring. Tiffany described John as arrogant. Scotty describes Nancy as bossy. Darren, Tiffany, Darren, and Daniela are banned from smoking until the end of the task. Because the puppet masters are like, who do you want to ban from smoking? <laughs> Puppets are given the task to eat century eggs. These were like eggs that were fermented for like 100 years or something like that. Megan threw, Megan and Stephanie threw up their eggs after they swallowed it. And so did Christopher. And Christopher's was like the funniest throw up. After swallowing. So he couldn't take that day. <laughs> he couldn't take that day. Sorry. Chris, you know Chris is gay, but he couldn't take a day. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that was a tasteless uh, blowjob joke. I'm sorry. Then we get to nominations. We already know who John nominated. David nominates Daniela Snoring and then Gemma. Stephanie nominates Gemma and Nancy and she nom and Stephanie nom nominates Nancy for being rude. Stephanie nominates Gemma because of being chased around his house and screamed out with Angie. Danielle nominates Nan Aunt Angie and David. Daniela <laughs> Daniela nominated David because he can't work any of the kitchen utensils. 
we only hear that Jeremy nominated Nancy because of Nancy's behavior and bossiness. Megan nominates John for leaving Tiffany alone and Nancy for treating because for treating the house like it's just a hotel. Christina nominates Nancy and Angie. Christopher nominates Nancy and Angie. Um, Nancy, because Nancy doesn't fucking clean. Tiffany nominates Angie and Christina. Christina, it's going to be... It, it, Tiffany hit the nail on the head. It's going to be soon hard for Christina just to avoid her in the house. So let's just have her avoid her in real life. <laughs> Darren nominates Nancy and Angie. Most housemates nominate Angie because of the morning of the death of David Bowie. Nancy nominates Scotty T because of this personality. And Jeremy because she thinks that Jeremy makes her feel uncomfortable when it's also the same way around with Jeremy. Angie nominates Jeremy and apparently Angie's very pissed off at Jeremy. And then Gemma because of the same thing that happened with Stephanie. Gemma nominates Stephanie because uh, Stephanie didn't comfort her about Jonathan's exit. And Angie because Angie called Gemma a creature. Scotty T nominates nominates Stephanie to for just for her boyfriend. And Nancy because Nancy is bossy. We already know that John nominated Angie and Darren for Friday's eviction. And we already know who's up. It's Jeremy, Angie, Nancy, Stephanie, and and Gemma. Sorry. Forgot who was also nominated. I didn't. I really wish it wasn't Gemma. I'm sorry. I like Gemma now. John wants nomination as a way for Darren to find better coping mechanisms even after leaving the house. Because apparently, yeah, Darren picked up smoking. Who cares? Darren is heard about John's nomination. John is trying to be alpha male, but it's backfiring really badly right now. Angie can tell that John is sick of her. Sorry, my brother interrupted the fucking filming of this shit. Fuck you, brother. And no, well, he is my big brother, but I'm like, fuck him. Okay. Darren lets off some steam in the bedroom. Darren only has smoked. He's never had a drink in the house yet. That's a good thing. Darren and John clear the air in the living area. Darren is hurt and shocked because he thought he was friends with John. John says that the only thing Darren is hurt from is being nominated. Which is not really true. It's because John's not acting like his true self. He's trying to act like this alpha male. Christina is putting herself in the convo about Darren's battle with addiction. We're, I'm sorry. That is not how you put yourself in the house. Before 6.30 p.m., Megan needed to eat. And she was not going to have the fucking spam and potatoes. I'm just saying. Angie hasn't been in contact with her son in 28 years. It was the son's decision. Angie didn't want to take her son away from David Bowie. She was okay with joint custody, but she wasn't going to fight for sole custody. David rejoins the house now and gets control of Stephanie and gets Stephanie to wipe his shoes. And, yeah, puppets eat spam and some potatoes and cheap cider. I'm not a fan of potatoes. I would like it if if Big Brother cooked the spam for me. Cheap cider, I'm uh, issue about... Uh, it's about Megan's tantrum starts. It was amazing, but it was not Nikki Graham amazing. I'm sorry. It was Megan's tantrum was not Nikki Graham amazing. Darren gives Stephanie a pep talk after being nominated by 10 p.m. Puppet masters have a party and puppets are banned from the party. Tiffany tells Darren that she likes him in the bedroom. Darren talks to Big Brother about John's nomination. This is after the party. Darren hopes John's reasons were sincere, but... John never really sat down with Darren and said, hey, you need to take, like, you need, to, you need to stop smoking. It's not good for you kind of thing. Megan needs to fucking eat. This is when her tantrum is, like, crazy. She wants to go to the diary room. Stephanie starts ruffling, like, rolling on the floor, fucking laughing because she was just like, who gives a fuck about 
Yes, bam! And shit like that. And I really want a YouTube side-by-side -side comparison of Nikki, one of Nikki Graham's best tantrums and this Megan tantrum. Big Brother tells Megan that the meals are nutritionally balanced. And then... <laughs> Because that's what they do if you're on rations. If you're if you're put on rations, they they just tell you this is nutritionally balanced. And then Megan's like, four crackers on the fucking bed. I know that was fucking hilarious. But on the side, I say John went defensive to aggressive when Darren wanted to clear the air. Um, public perception. I'm afraid that these nominations. The nom John nominating Darren would hurt him in fan favorites polls. John is definitely playing a game right now. John is def was being alpha male, but now it's becoming very terrible. I had my mom watch the highlights and the uh, bit on the side last night <laughs> with me, and I was just I just wrote down my mom has been as hangry as Megan. My mom doesn't like Riley <laughs> because I think she thinks she's too campy. And this is coming from me because I'm a campy person, but my mom thinks Riley is like times a hundred of me, of the campiness and shit. Some exclusive Big Brother's voice was apparently sexy person in the morning. Jeremy does Stephanie's hair with a straightening iron. John writes himself outside of the drama in the day. And then he, instead of writing himself out of the drama, he starts bitching with Daniela. Which is still putting himself in the drama. He's just creating more drama. Instead of putting himself in the drama, he's creating more drama and bitching with Daniela. And then Daniela is now going to follow her own rules because of the house other housemates. Because she's sick and tired of the other housemates. She's like, I've been in this industry since a teen I was a teenager and shit like that. Gemma reveals that... <laughs> this is funny. But the quote, I want my shoes back, rears his ugly head, and Tiffany's like, oh, you want your shoes back? You want your shoes back? Oh, fuck no. Like, she was gonna, Tiffany was gonna give her two shoes back. And then Gemma's like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Like, Gemma's gonna, like, clear the air and shit. But Tiffany was just, like, popping off, and it was hilarious. <laughs> my mom was like, my mom was like, who's that and who's that? And I was just like, oh, that's, like, David Gass and that's Angie Bowie. And my mom's like, they look ter they look awful. <laughs> my mom said that. Like, because David Guest has dyed his hair again and really badly and he's balding. And Angie just looks too old for my mom. And then Scotty T and another exclusive said that he wanted Megan to sit on his face. And then Psych Show, Psych on the Sofa. They had the American psychologist, Dr. Pam. I like Dr. Pam. I thought she was British with an American accent, like how I'm best. Okay. Alpha male. John entered as the alpha, but he took it way too far, and now he's like a dominating character. Alpha female would be Jenna, because she entered as the queen of reality, and she smooths out problems like typical alphas. Queen bees are Nancy and Angie, because they're, they're self-entitled. The person that has gone rogue definitely is... Tiffany, because she's saying that she, because Tiffany keeps saying that she's being singled out of the housemates, and these housemates could make this rogue into a scapegoat. And then I just wrote, Gemma needs a bestie, maybe Christopher. And then I was like, what about Daniela? Because Daniela is besties with Christopher. So our. I, I think Gemma and Daniela are going to be fighting for Bestie of Christopher. Okay, that is it for now. I'll see you later. See ya.